Hello, my name is Patrick Taylor. I'm here in San Diego, California, and I'm here to introduce you to a passion of mine that I've been doing for so many years. I've been taking this camera right here out every day. This tape measure. And I've been measuring murals. I've been documenting, cataloging, finding, searching, recording, and just putting together a whole project surrounding the murals of San Diego County. Some of the larger cities have their programs already solidly in place. We do not. So I'm here today to ask for your help for me to get my project really finalized and, and realize it to fruition after having worked on it uh, for so many years. Just love murals and I've been doing it for a long time. I just, uh, I think it's a valuable, valuable uh, thing that this city needs to embrace. Philadelphia, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and other big cities have mural projects of their own that identify those communities, that bring into scope all of the arts and the education of, uh, in the elementary schools and middle schools. Of, of, uh, it's part of the curriculum and it, it discourages tagging, saves the city millions of dollars, and it also encourages freedom of expression the expression to get creative and, and, and just create art. Art perpetuates more art. Hey Patrick, how long have you been photographing and documenting uh, the murals in San Diego? Since 1995. About 18, 19 years. And why do you do this? I came from a little town in Iowa. I came out from San Diego to San Diego and, and to me, it, it seemed like they were just around me everywhere. I was just blown away by them. The scope of them, the content, how they identified a particular community and the culture, from the surf community to the beach community to the urban community, and then to the uh, Hispanic uh, Barrio Logan community, and uh, just all of the different features of what they're trying to express or what they're trying to say and it's so unique to to the variety of population I just why because it illuminates the arts I mean tourists coming into this town that want to see San Diego yes they're gonna to go to SeaWorld they're gonna to go to all these places are they gonna go down to San Ysidro are they gonna go down an alley in Chula Vista are they going to go down to El Cajon on the side of a building or back of a garage and see these murals? No. San Diego Mural Collection can bring all of this art to them. You see shirts, you see products, you see people going home with I love San Diego with a bar, big heart in the middle. People love art. And a San Diego Mural Collection, I believe, with all of its components, and things under the umbrella of San Diego Mural Collection can perpetuate more art, can support the arts, support the artist through different different items that the art is it's there when I photograph it, it can be silk screened. Here's here's a particular cup uh, with my photograph on it and uh, the artwork of uh, Daniel Hopkins, Pose. Not only do I give it a mural number, but I also identify where it's at, how large it is, how wide, how high, the exact address where you can go see this mural, and it has a documented mural number. Let me ask you, what is the, what is the San Diego Mural Collection, what can it do for the city? I think bringing a lot of different components together, not only mural awareness, but I mean, when you go... Uh, when you think of murals, uh, you, you can think of Michelangelo, the Sistine Chapel, you can, you can think of uh, Diego Rivera, you can think of a lot of different people that have been famous throughout the centuries that do murals, from the caveman to the people inside the pyramids. 
I mean, there's murals have been with us all the time, but what can it do for the city? It can address tourism and expose people from Keokuk, Iowa, to France, Germany, Tokyo, Japan, to our city through the arts. A different, a different slant of the arts, but still, it's a cultural experience that they might not otherwise have. I see. And what is your long-term vision for the mural collection? Just to incorporate all of these different components from education and doing the different, uh, different projects through the schools and the uh, San Diego School District, uh, but also promoting the arts at a very early age will we'll stop generationally, will stop some of these kids from going out and tagging. They're, they're, they're going to realize they can, they can go do a wall and express themselves in an artistic way and, and save, it can save the city millions of dollars through art and graffiti education, mural education. Well, what about education? Well, I, I've, been cat, I've been documenting and cataloging these murals and making a registry. This is copyrighted. I also have been in touch with a lot of the artists, getting, uh, getting their releases for that. But out of, out of the mural collection already has come a mural education book that's all ready to go into the schools, or at least be ex explored and elaborated on and made a lot, uh, a lot better to where uh, the project can, uh, through this teacher's packet that I have, with uh, all different kinds of uh, questions and, and different word box puzzles and everything can lead to a better understanding of what mural art is. San Diego Mural Collection also has a book that's already started. These are things that maybe just having a, a vision or an idea, to me, it wasn't good enough all these years. I've, I've actually followed through and put together a mural book that is all ready to be printed and all ready to go page by page of some of the most beautiful murals I've ever seen. And just the possibility of getting all of this done and all these different facets and bringing them all together at one time is, uh, is a major, major project for such a big city such as this. But I've enjoyed every minute of it for all the years that I've been doing it. And my social work, I've been a social worker for over 30 years, and the money I get from social work has been allowing me to continue to do this and setting up the prototypes and everything. So, so tell us, why do you need the funding for your project? I don't have it. I mean, I've, I've got the foundation. I've got all everything set up. I've done the, the silk screens uh, to show that this can be done from my photographs. But by, by doing this and doing it on a large production scale, it's going to impact the schools. It's going to impact tourism. It's going to impact remuneration for the arts it, uh, and the artist because the artist is on every one of these shirts. And the artist will get a portion of the money from murals that they've done years and years ago. Simply put, from taking these photographs, turning them into real art in, in a different medium. Silkscreen, photography, calendars, word box puzzles. These are my photographs, children's puzzles. Like I said, art perpetuates art. And by doing this, every one of these photos are mine. And they've been turned into a calendar. But these prototypes just help complete the circle. Help do what I need to do to complete the project and make it citywide. I, uh, I just don't have those kinds of funds that can do it. Can I spend thousands of dollars over the years? Yes. For all these years. It's always, it's been all my money. But to really 
get into production, I just don't have that kind of big infusion of, uh, of cash. Yes, I can go out and do the Ben-Hur coffee cup. You know, this is a mural that was done in 1975. It's still there. People can go see it and do. But the cup promotes the city, promotes the artist, promotes the arts, helps the education system and get that part of the arts into the curriculum. And uh, I just think that that's going to be really, really important for this city. A lot of the other large cities have it. We don't. San Diego Mural Collection has tried to put all these components together and it's kind of like juggling all these balls at the same time. But I'm one person I'm the founder of San Diego Mural Collection and I need your help. I can't do it alone and so far I have been. I've been taking my camera and my, my uh, measuring tools and going out there and, and documenting them. But now it's ready to become something bigger, something much larger than myself. And that's what I always envisioned it being. I love this project and I'm going to continue doing it. It's when I see a new mural, it's like Christmas in February, Christmas in July, and I just can't wait to get it captured for restoring murals, pr promoting new development of new murals, continuing the registry, and, and just promoting the arts in a different way. I just, I just think is a fantastic goal for the whole project and for me, and it's something I just love doing in addition to my social work. Uh, so I thank you. I thank you so much for your time. I really, really do. And I just hope that, uh, that you see, uh, see what I see and the beauty and the possibilities that can come of something uh, like this and all its different components. So I ask for your support. I hope that you support me. And, and out of this, uh, I just can't see. It's a win-win situation for everybody. The community, the tourists, the arts, the artists, the children. It's a fantastic project. So thank you very much, and I hope to be hearing from you.